Hi everyone, welcome to another LRD Factory Tute session. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a minimalistic but fresh and vibrant logo. So here's what the design looks like. Okay, so let's jump straight into it. First thing you want to do is open up a new um, image. Um, the size will be 29.7 by 21, resolution is 300. Once you've got that, we want to open up some new groups. Add three new groups. Okay, bottom one we want to label that text. Okay, next one we want to label that the D. Okay, and the top one we want to label that play shape. Okay, go into the D folder, we want to select the font. The font we're using is called Plastic Pill and the size is 350, 450, pardon. Type out D, okay. We actually need this D to be a pink color, so we're going to select um, the color tool there and we're going to go to um, ED0B75. That gives us a pink, okay. Let's go and add some gradients and effects. Um, Gradient overlay, we want to add that to soft light, 50%, tick reverse, put that to reflected, put the scale to 150. Okay, let's go to some inner shadow, let's change the color here, <clears throat> excuse me, um, it's 520026, okay, put the opacity to 30, um, tick that. And then change that to 25. Okay, let's put the distance to 12, choke to 6, and the size to 35. Put your contour to round, half round, beg your pardon. Let's add some drop shadow now. You want to put the um, opacity to 23. You want to put the distance down to 0. Spread up to eight, then we're going to put the size to 146. Okay, let's put some outer glow on there, put the blend mode to normal, opacity to 70, put the color to white. I want to change the, the size to 83. Okay, and um, that's the D done, that's looking good. Yep. Fantastic. Let's go and do some um, play shapes. So we go into the play shape, we add a new layer. We want to select the shapes tool, go into custom shapes, um, select the triangle, which is here. Okay, you want to make sure that you are selected on the paths. Okay, then we want to draw out the shape. So hold shift and bring it out. Okay, once we've got that, we want to go to brushes brush tool, we want to change the size of the brush tool to 38 picks, make sure the hardness is down on zero, um, and then we want to select the pen tool again, hold shift, click in the middle, stroke path, simulate um, pressure, and that's that part done. Add a new layer, in fact let's label that first, um, big brush, okay, new layer, we want to Change the color to white, we want to go to brushes, change that to 10 picks, okay. Go back to your pen tool, control, click, stroke path, simulate pressure, yep. That gives us our next layer, label that small brush, okay. And at the bottom of these layers now we want to add um, the fill layer. Okay, so simply go back onto the tool here, click control and click and then fill path. Okay, so those are the three layers. So we wanna show you each one. Um, so there's the black effect. Let me remove the, the pen tool, you'll see that better. Delete path. So you'll see you've got your black there, you've got your white, and you've got the fill. Okay, so with the big brush and the small brush, we just set them to overlay, 
and then we're going to go and put some um, effects on the fill. So let's add some outer glow firstly. So we put it to normal, 44%, change it to white, and the size we want 65. Okay, that's cool. And gradient, we want to put a soft light here. Uh, we want to tick reverse and then select reflected and then scale is 150. Okay, I like that. That looks cool. Now we just want to rotate this. So we click Apple T and then rotate. Okay, that's looking cool. Let's resize it a little bit. Yeah, I think like that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That looks cool. Let's just bring it down a bit. Cool. All right. Um, so now let's do the text. Go over to your text tool. You want to select your text. Um, we're going to be using a font called A Beat. So start typing. We want to put the size firstly to 62. Yeah, cool. Now we can start typing. So just type out play and then dance in capitals. Okay, position that. Okay, now we duplicate that three times. So Apple J, I duplicate it twice, beg your pardon. All right, the top one is just going to be the play. So we're going to change the color of that. The color of that needs to be um, FF00. 7E. Okay. Delete the this part of the dance. We don't need that now. Okay. And now this part is going to be changed to color gray. So it's going to be 555555. Yep. Okay. Now we can delete the other side of that. And just position it into place. Cool. Now we can get rid of the bottom one. Now with the play, we're going to add some effects to that. Start off with the inner shadow. Um, put the opacity to 30. Put the angle to 120. Um, and then we want to put the choke. Uh, choke stays in there. Um, the size goes to up to 15. Okay. Now let's add some drop shadow. Okay, the drop shadow goes up to 100%. Um, distance needs to be zero, spread, three, size, three. Yep, fantastic. That's looking nice. Um, now we just add a little stroke to the dance. And that's just going to be a three pix stroke. So that's already set there in the default settings. You just need to change the color. So it's five, 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 five. And voila, you're done. Okay, so let's just center the whole thing. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, so that's the finished logo. Um, it'll be great to see some of your video responses showing us your own versions of this logo. Um, in the meantime, comment, like, and most importantly, subscribe.